Well, hey guys and gals, welcome to oh, the Swedish Touch. Um, we map I was just looking at and thought, you know what, I'm going to give this a playthrough. And, uh, well, I might as well bring you along with me. Absolutely fantastic looking wee map, though. <coughs> Starting off, I haven't done anything yet. It's basically the starting position. Uh, let's get a bit of speed going. Here we are. Let's get up to the shop. Let's, let's work out what we're going to do. It's a beautiful wee map. Well put together. Very scenic. Um, yeah, so I thought, like, well, why not? Oh, where's the shop? Let's see. Shop's up over here. Here we are. So, um, I thought maybe we'd do with this one is try and make it as different as possible from Glen Isla. Yeah, we'll see what we can use. Let's have a look at the map. The map's by Tommy Toast. We'll not say that word too loud. And, uh, yeah, it's not a full size map by any means. It's a small map. It's gonna be small, medium sized equipment on here. But, yeah, we'll handle that. Um, so let's think what we want to do. Um, first of all, half one and half two are farmyards. They're just blank areas, you know. Paint your own farm. And I was thinking maybe. If we go into the buy mode and have a look at the half one, 292 grand, we'll buy that. I'm going to concentrate up around this area here. Um, and also, it's going to seem weird, but I want to buy this area too. You'll see why in a minute. Because <laughs> I think I was starting this one totally different. So let's get out of that. So we've just bought all this trees. <laughs> so, why not? We'll start with a bit of logging for a change. <coughs> so let's have, let's have a look at tractors. What we need. How much have we left, actually? We have uh, 779 grand left. We'll, uh, let's see what we have for tractors. Uh, small. Nothing really picking the interest there. Ford, maybe. That's about it. But we're using it, so we know. We'll try something different. Uh, medium tractors. Uh, fast tracks, 6R. Uh, class 9, uh, maybe. See, I don't want to be using anything I'm going to be using in the other series as well. I mean, the MB track, I'd love to buy it again. You know how much I love that one. Oh, 70-30, but there's no front loader on that. So I think maybe what we'll have to do is since we're doing forestry, maybe go with a 6R? Bump it right up. Yes, we want a front loader attacher. Wheel, wide tires, wheel weights, rear twins, twin wheels, too wide, wide tires, standard, wide tires and weights. There we go. Let's buy that. And then we'll need to buy the front loader attachments for it as well. Uh, oh, that one there. Duh. Yeah, we might as well buy that one. Yeah, we're starting off buying John Deere's. I must be going mad. We'll get the log forks. Uh, we're sticking with the stool, of course. Uh, we might as well get them in green. Okay, sweet. So, we've now got... Oh, we're... Oh, there, there, there. 520 gram left to play with. Oh, we'll just turn that off for a start. Uh, let's see it. D I'll turn it on easy for a bit of crack. Real time. Traffic on. Dirt. Normal. Off. Uh, turn all them off. Plant growth. We'll put that on fast for a bit of crack. Plant weathering off. Crop destruction off. Periodic pride, lime required, weeds, all that lovely stuff, we'll keep that on. We'll just quickly hit the save button, hit the back. Yeah, we're going to start and stop now. So, if we are going to be doing logs, we're going to need to be, uh... We'll get into farming eventually on this, but we're going to have to make our money up.
Right, so that there. Um we're gonna need oh, wrong one. We're gonna need some kind of logged trailer. So let's go into uh forestry. Uh let's see what we've got for trailers. We're using that. I, w I would love to buy that one again actually, but we're using it on um Glen Isla. So maybe not. I'm thinking we're gonna need this. Because it is rather hilly. We'll, we'll try that too. Uh, and the auto load for why not? We'll go auto load. White tires. Just for a bit of crack. Uh, we're gonna need something to pull it then, aren't we? Um, let me see. We need to go back and get a, a truck then. And I'm thinking. We're using the. Well, we love that truck, but we're gonna probably be using that one on Glen Isla. So I'm thinking maybe. This one. Agar, 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 agar. So, rim colour. Oh, shall we say that one? Main colour. Why not? Wheel brand, Nokia, and Trelborg. Nokia, uh, why not? Design with bumper. With the bumper. Engine. Bump it right up. Bump it right up. Okay, so then we go to uh, buy that. So we're left with 345 grand. Let's get you out of the way. I haven't used this wee truck yet. It, it looks quite nice actually. Oh, we need to pick the thing up high. Don't know how well this is going to work on this train, but we'll see. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just move it over here for the time being. Okay. Um. Oh. Jumpy uppy. Let's go pick our winch. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. We're starting on forestry. Who'd have thought? Okay, and uh, we probably don't have enough left to buy a tree harvester, do we? No, we don't. But what we do have is we still have our um, loan. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll bump a loan up. Why not? So, borrow 5,000. We'll take that right up to half a million alone. So we now have 595,000. Let's get ourselves a Scorpion King. Why not? Ponzi Scorpion King. Uh, we'll put them on it. Why not? Buy that. Let's go logging! Have to start the engine. Oops. No. Drive up one into the forest and let's do it. Totally different start than Glen Isla, so. Is it even going to make it up the hill? Oh, yeah. So now you can see why we bought the winch just in TSA. Eh? And we thought maybe there's a wee landing area up here. I thought maybe we could start here and see how we go. Why not? So, let's unfold that. Put the F1 menu up. Uh, cut length, which means that's 8. Not 8. Game, just in, in game uh, policy here, so. Stretch that out. Bring it down. Hey, we've cut our first tree, and uh, we're already gone nuts. Look. Interesting. 
Hey, what are we stuck on? Ah, we're stuck on that. Cool. I think what we'll do is we'll just cut it. We're not going to roll down the hill on us, so that's good. Right, so what do we get stuck on? We get stuck on that tree there, didn't we? Ooh. I don't even know why I don't like logging. I need to get a stump grinder, well, I don't know. Let's see if we can draw that one back. Can I? Well, let's start uh, cutting here. Of course, we're going to be doing quite a bit of logging on Glen Ida as well. So this is a. Uh, I think this is going to be a wee bit more of a challenge than on Glen Ida. I'm trying to do this one sort of half realistically. Oh, stretch it out. Bring it up. Wrong button. So we are, we're cutting the, we're cutting the trees down really now. Give yourself a, at least some sort of landing. I think maybe what we'll do is, when I get this out, I'll maybe take the uh, train, mod train modifying tool out. And I'll maybe make it a wee bit flatter and give it a wee bit more space. Obviously we're not getting our truck up here. Maybe we should start at the bottom. I mean, an area down there. We can take a look too. Let's, uh. Let's switch shoes and coots. Let's see if we can bounce over this. There we are. Bounce over. Bounce, bounce. Yeah, it's good. Oh, we're stuck on the, uh, rock. Let me go back down the bottom. We'll start from the bottom, cut a bit out, maybe. Give us a wee bit of sort of room for our truck. I really thought this out, did I? <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, there's no real flat area down here either, is there? We don't own the area where the shop's on, so we're gonna have to continue on up here. Up and down the hill, eh? Just showing off the power of the scrubbing king. Let's give this area a quick clean up. We'll bring our John Deere up actually and we'll um, give the area a quick clean up. Just reverse him up into here for the time being. Right, let's go get the deer down the shop still. Um, yeah guys, so if you have anything you, you know, just particularly want to see sort of in an, in, you know, in this sort of like uh, of a series. Give me a shout, let me know. You know, any suggested mods or anything for this, definitely give me a shout, let me know. We'll see if we can bring it into the game for you. Cool. Like so. Up. Scrap over that. What I was thinking, though. I can get this area cleaned up slightly. I'll, um... Ooh, this is tight. We will get, as I say, we will get around to some farming eventually. But 
I don't know, I just seen this map today and I thought, you know, I'll have a look at it. And uh I thought it's so what I like this. It's different. Um I always wanted to try that alt map on um fifteen that was converted to seventeen. But I could never ever uh could never ever get it the uh a good a good model of it. Uh, a good working map of it. But I'll just start packing over here for a time again, I think. We could always um, make a landing area at the top. We'll see, have to see how much room is at the top, actually. Do that before we finish. We'll go up and have a look. But it's all hills, guys. And this is what I liked about this. You know, we smart tracks. We small you know, villages. Tight laneways. Yeah, we're not going to be using any of the big American equipment. As I said, yeah, the map is beautiful. I mean, you shouldn't really take a drive around it, shouldn't you? Do that too. Some, you know, not, it's not that big of a map. You'll see, uh, you'll see around it at some stage. Um, oh, this is gonna be hard. I'll get these ones. Aha! Oh, oh! We went. Get ourselves we uh, skid steer up around this area as well for stump grinding and whatnot. It's got a nice pile of logs starting actually. I'm just thinking though, how are we getting these trees down? Because uh, we can't carry them down like this. Yeah, the road's not mine. I never really thought this through at the start of a <laughs> typical of a console. Just stop it by the 8R or the 6R as well because we very rarely use the John Deere and I know I don't really use a lot of John Deere. I mean, my favourite brand if you want to say as much, but um is this the push temper? Can't see it. Ooh -hoo. Be tidy from the start. I think there's anything. Oh, that's just as well. Oh, cool, that tilts too. I was saying this would be probably logging for the first part of this anyway. Until we get uh, until we get ourselves established and get money back from uh, from selling logs. ourselves up a bit. Let's get our uh, let's get our scorpion king back and working again. Oh, here I'm gonna have to stop that. Um, actually, just before we do it, let's take a run up to. The, oh, I can't get over that. Oh, go around it. Run up to the top, actually. Ah, see, the area's not that flat up around here either. Look, <laughs> this is what this is why I like this map. It makes you. It, it's gonna make us think of how we want to do things. Look. There's no good way of actually... I suppose we're going to have to try and get that trailer up here, aren't we? If we get this area here, we can sort of flatten this area out more with the uh, train, train to So let's um, let's concentrate on getting some trees down from this area. Oh, there's a few right beside us. Interesting. Uh, 
the other hut. Let's see if we can get this sort of in towards the pilot at least. Cut it right across them. That's typical. We need to get up around the top here to do. And uh continue it that way that we should be able to shoot the edge. It's going to cost us a fortune to do this now. This is why my console doesn't log very often. Depending on this as well, because um, we've, we've set the target of about 10 hours a week on the uh, on the challenge map. And it's, it's not very... You know, it sounds like a lot, but whenever you start playing, you know, you realize 10 hours is not a lot of time when you're playing this game. So, you know, I'm gonna need something else to fill out in my time. I enjoy playing this game as it is, you know. And there are other games I suppose I could play, but... We get a nice map and I could, you know... A nice map and a... You know, a good, uh... Good game. You get yourself all settled up and whatnot. Before you, before you. I don't think I've ever done, you know, vlogging in such a, a steep setting before. I, 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 I have been, I'm, you know, playing on my own, but I've never done it on screen before. So it's, it's a challenge itself. Alright, so let's see how much more of these we can get. Oh, 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 oh. Dance on the edge. So, yeah, with the roads and the way this map goes, this is either going to be really spectacular or really. Um, disastrous. Which is probably going to be the latter, but you know. Can't cover some of them. Don't worry about dropping the John Deere, it's just a John Deere. I'm not going to level too much at it, just, you know, enough to put, like, we, uh, you know, wooden supports in for cotton and whatnot, you know, and logs. Tree type is not supported. Oh, okay. I don't have to do that one manually. What is really being concerning, guys, is you know, by this stage in FS17, there was quite a few different things that you could get for forestry, you know, chippers, and it seems to be uh, few and far in between. Can't go any further. What are we stuck on? Ah, uh, oh, no, we can't. We're off on a stump. Oh, we're miles away from the middle. Oh, there we are. Ah, 
Oh, we didn't buy ourselves a chainsaw, did we? Whoa! Something we'll have to get. Let's see if we can continue on across and get another one of these, though. So I think what we will do is we'll try and get our uh, trailer up in here. Maybe just go and have a look and uh, see where the cell points and whatnot is and have a look around the map. Well, until we get to the cell point again. I'll do guys is um we'll get this up and I'll, I'll continue on a little bit off screen and uh we can leave a bit more progress as well from what we are doing here. Yeah, let's go and uh actually see if we can get that truck up here. It'll be an amazement if we can. Let's get you out of the way first of all. Get that tree. Ooh. Seats pretty bouncing. Park you here on the roof for a second. This is going to be an adventure. Very quiet this truck in them. We're gonna have to maybe try and reverse this the whole way down here, like, oh no, that's gonna be a nightmare. Right, so, there's our mess. Let's get our F1 menu up. Uh, auto to the left, please. So, uh, we want to switch auto to the left, which is O. And uh, B to start. Get rid of that one. I'm not getting anything. Great. We started all loading, do we? Started all loading. B. Okay. Maybe that's just not close enough. Maybe if I hit B now, I'll get someone there. No. No. Uh, I don't know some of that. Deer down. <laughs> oh, I'm not stuck, that is. Well, hey! It's 
hard to see in these trees, isn't it? I'll not do all auto load, but do some manual load ourselves. This is just to get us kicked in and get us started off and get us an area clear. A certain I would almost have to be a certain distance out to get out of the road. So the pigs even can move by hand actually because we're not going to get them into our. Let's do that. That one. Uh. Oh. I'll stick straps on that for a sec. We're getting close to what we can manage with this, I think, too. for ourselves by any example. Oh, that should all disappear. It's going to take us a while to build up to the, the farmyard, but hey, don't forget, we're, we're big enough alone out here as well. Why didn't you auto load? There you are. And, uh, we'll lift this one off as well, just to make it a bit tidier. Let's turn the auto loading off. B. Put the shops on that. Let's see if we can get this reverse right here, actually. No, maybe we can. Nope. That's not working. This is going to be a nightmare. We have to go uphill. Well, the we merc. Pull this uphill, that's the question. Oh, it's, it's pulling, it's pulling. It stopped pulling. We're stuck in something, are we? Yeah, I think we're stuck in that tree. Okay. 
Okay, so we're not gonna get around there. Disastrous move from this start. Welcome along to my console does log in the hard way. Guys, we're getting there. Hey, hey, we got there. Right, log sale time. What do we think we're making from this one? It's a pretty big load, like. Just zoom on out there so you can see the, uh, the landscape. Lovely town. Yeah, it's a beautiful map, guys. Look, look at the, the view. It's time to try and find the, uh, where is the, uh, sawmill? It's straight ahead. But we need to go out around the runway. Oh. So we make it round one piece. Oh, yep. Squeeze it on round. And I believe our sawmill is out this way. in Europe, so we have to drive on the right side of the road. And I believe that the uh, lumber yard is down here. Getting out's going to be a problem though. <laughs> uh, pull it in. Take the straps off. I wonder what we'll sell from the trailer. Oh, we got uh, 30, 32 grand from that. That's not bad. That's not shabby, you know. Well, there you go, guys. Um, that's going to be part one uh, of here on the Swiss Touch by Tommy Toast, who we like the name. Um, catch us all again in the, in the next episode. We'll, we'll be doing more logging. Bye-bye.